Thank you so much to TTS who recently sent us some rugged robots. Now, the rugged robot is designed for indoor and outdoor use. It's got Bluetooth functionality. It can be controlled by physically pressing the buttons or it can be connected via a tablet or to the TTS tactile code reader, which I'll get to a little bit later on. You can change the speed and it's even got an obstacle sensor as well. So it doesn't bump into things. Now it's called a rugged robot because it's a tough cookie. And I thought I'd put the rugged robot through its paces and let my class get their mitts on it. And this is what happened. The first thing I did was to get my kids to unbox the rugged robot and to see what was inside. What did we find? We found the charger, we found some instructions, we had a good look inside the box. The next thing I did was rather than tell them exactly what each button does, I said to them, right guys, go and explore, see what that button does, see what happens if you press this, why don't you turn it around, just have her explore first and see what it can do. We're gonna crash! <laughs> So we got back together and we discussed as a group what we could find out about the rugged robot and what does each button do. And together as a group, we worked out most of the functions of the rugged robot. And this is great because it's great for communication and language, it's great for collaboration. As I say to my kids all the time, it's great for teamwork because teamwork makes the steam work. A couple of the kids through having a play with the robot found the obstacle center and they explained how it works. So they said that when you press the button, it doesn't bump into things and this is them explaining and showing how it works. Then I got the kids to get back in their groups and to design some tracks and see if they can make their rugged robot navigate the tracks without falling off. So some of them went in different routes, some of them went straight, different directions now. I think I caught, yeah, I caught it here in a second. So a couple of the boys, they thought they'd nailed it the first time. In fact, you can see it here with the direction. So they were already celebrating. Turning right here, it goes forward. Just before it gets to the end of the track, it turns the wrong way. There you go, and because the kids could see the product, they were gutted at the time. But what was really nice is they got back together and five minutes later, the sense of achievement when they actually managed to navigate the track through working together as a team. I mean, look at it, it's right there on those faces. And in fact, they haven't yet celebrate here as well too. So I then gave the tactile reader to a couple of my lads here, so they were very excited. I said, right, just unbox it, see what's inside. You guys, go figure it out. What is it first? So they had a look, they found the slides and the tiles and they discussed how it looks like the rugged robot. And then we, they found out that when we connect the rugged robot to the blue tactile reader, put the slides in, whatever slides you put in, whatever directions are on the slide and you press go, the rugged robot follows the pattern. So just like when you press the buttons on the top, but this way it's really good for visual learners because you can see from start to finish the pattern and the instructions that the rugged robot's going to follow. Then I asked a couple of the lads to explain in their own words what the tactile reader was and what they were actually doing. All right, basically what we're doing, we're making a track and we're using this and we use this to go forward, left, right or backwards and then to control this robot from TTS and go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Now what we did was that was half the class that did that lesson on the inside. So then they went back to class, I took the other half of the class and then we went outside and we then played and had a go and started to learn and use the rugged robots on the outside. Now it was a bit cold, the floor was a bit wet, but it didn't matter because these things are designed to go outside. So just like inside, we gave the kids the rugged robots, said press stuff, see what happens, press this. What happens next? What will happen if you press that? Why don't you go back, check what this button does? And that's exactly what they did, just like we did on the inside. Then I challenged this group to see if they could get the rugged robot to follow the lines on the playground. So could they get them to follow the painted lines that were painted all over the playground? Rugged robots are fantastic for computing activities, for STEAM activities, they're great for teamwork, and like I always say to my kids, teamwork makes the STEAM work! 
If you want to find out more about the Rugged Robots, follow the link in the description.